so um, we're gonna try this out. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to do talking to the camera not in voiceover. I think it might be like that one clip from Family Guy when their life turns into a TV show. Um, on Sundays, we generally catch the early bird special here at the Lobster Shanty. There's fresh seafood, good prices, plus it's a shanty. And you get to pick your own lobster. Um, but anyway, it's Monday and um, I it's like 10.30ish right now. I'm gonna have a quick run to the dining hall. Um, and then my writing class is at 11.15. So I'm gonna go to the dining hall and my writing class. I live in Warren and there's a dining hall in there, but I try to go to Marciano Commons, which is a different dining hall. It's about a 10 minute walk from my dorm and I like it. It gives me an excuse to get out of the room and out of the hall and I prefer the food there. And then after I got breakfast, I ran over to Calm where I have my writing class. After my writing class, I ran across the street to CDS and just knocked out some work. And then I walked over to my global cinema discussion, which is on West Campus. I didn't get any footage there though. I went to one of my professor's office hours just to get some help on an essay. I had some time to kill. So I just knocked out some work up there and then went downstairs and met some friends for dinner. I'm at Marciano right now with my pals Izzy and Lauren. Lauren De House. The coolest last name of all time. Hey. Coolest last name of all time. If you don't name- hey, what about my last name? Your name is also sick, but if you- yeah. Yeah. Izzy like, Victoria, like Lauren De House. You gotta have a kid and name him Boots. <laughs> Boots. Boots De House. This is my friend Mickey who eats burger, no bun, no lettuce, nothing. Burger, no bun. Oh my god. So, have you tried? Have you, have you guys heard of Nun Pizza? On the way here, we're talking and then you're like a padunk. And then. We look and the car was like stopped and everyone's trying to turn but the car like stopped because they you know hit someone so they, they didn't keep driving. So then everyone behind them was like, Max, they, they don't know that someone just got hit by a car. And this little like rascal and his two friends, he's probably 14 years old, they're like, what the fuck? What the fuck? They jump off their bikes and they're like banging on the hood of the car. They definitely were probably like, I don't know, little rascal. They're probably like little drugs, little rascals. Little, little scoundrels. Shenanigans is what they were up to. I don't know about French mom. Mickey's not. That's a good ass piece. Okay. I flushed out. Oh, okay. Okay, nice. We're going to film biz. Who's excited? After dinner, the four of us went to Film Biz, which is a film business club where we just talk about the financial side of movies. We went back to my dorm and just hung out for a bit. And then I went to bed around midnight. All right, day two, Tuesday. Um, it's like 8.30 right now, I woke up at eight. And I'm running over to the dining hall um, to meet up with Mickey before we go to Calm 101. Here are a few clips from Kong. This is when Mickey spilled coffee all over the floor and it was the loudest noise that has ever been made on the planet. After calm, I have about a two hour gap until my next class, so Mickey and I ran over to CDS. I don't have any clips for my next class, but it's world lit. After that class, I ran back to my dorm to do some chores. I do my laundry on Tuesdays. I get out of class relatively early, so the laundry room's pretty open and I can take up two washing machines for all my clothes without worrying about preventing other people from doing their laundry. For some reason, I wear an insane amount of clothes per week. 
it doesn't really make sense why I have so much, but the bag is always overflowing and I have to use two machines. The shot is crazy because it's out of focus and the lighting's bad in my room so the time lapse makes it look weird. But anyway, all in all it takes me about two or two and a half hours to do my laundry. It's about 40 minutes for each load, so 40 minutes washer, 40 minutes dryer, and then about 15, 20 minutes to fold everything. And then with like the time in between bringing stuff up and down it comes out to about two and a half hours. So in the downtime in between I usually have time to knock out some other stuff. This day, I filmed my room tour video, which is out now if people want to see that. I finish my laundry around 4 or 4.30, depending on how efficient I am and how fast the machines are. The rest of the night was chill. I went to the dining hall with Mickey, grabbed some food, and then I worked on a paper, which I didn't finish. I was up way too late last night trying to finish that fucking paper and i didn't finish it i was up until like 2 30 so that's pissing me off but that's gonna get done today today's the last possible day i can do it um which is frustrating but that's the only thing on my to-do list today so that is getting done that's getting in wednesdays are very similar to mondays in that i start the day off with my writing class so it's like 10 30 right now I'm gonna quick run over to marciano to grab breakfast and then um, also run over to my writing class which starts at 11 15. I didn't film during my writing class but afterwards I went over to CDS to do some work. I also proof watched some of Mickey and Eli's podcast Funny and Nice which I camera operate on and do a lot of tech stuff so check that made sure it was good and it was uploaded. <laughs> I have my global cinema class Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and on Wednesday is a two hour, 45 minute viewing period, and we watched Bicycle Thieves. This wrecked me more than I thought it would. I was there, I was I was like, oh, you know, kind of, it's okay, you know? No, he never got his bike. Why did like like tears, like, well, the, like when like the, the end came up? The little boy, I wanna give, I've never wanted to give someone a hug so bad. Okay guys, Global Cinema <laughs> took a win today. It took okay, it took and that's it for now. Um Yeah. I don't mean uh maybe four four and a half, five little box. I really, really so like that. Why am I I'm trying to hand it back oh, to you? Oh. So I have nothing else to say. I grabbed some snacks from my room at City Co, which is a convenience store in the ground floor of my dorm. And then I met some friends for dinner at the dining hall in my dorm. Jack, advice what fatherly you? advice would you give to a child? Love is love. <laughs> Do you disagree? No, I don't fuck yeah. with that shit. No, like, I really don't, like, I, I'm serious. Like, you need to cut that shit out. Like, I don't fuck with that. <laughs> I just don't want it in my my face, like, all the time. You're kind of making me, like, your whole thing right now. And I just don't really, like, like that. Like, do you see me with a shirt that says, I like dick? No. After dinner, some friends and I went back to my room, and then I finally finished this paper that I've been working on. It came out to 11 pages and 2600 words. I'm just glad it's done. Thursday's footage is a bit weird because I forgot to put the battery in my camera, so I just recorded everything on my phone. But anyway, I had calm in the morning, and then I went across the street to CDS, did some reading for Worldlit, then I went to Worldlit, and then I went back to my room. I just got back from my Worldlit class, and got the battery for my camera, which is good, because the stuff on my phone looks like shit, but I can use my camera again. Um, Worldlit was good. Today we kind of just did like, um, short discussion of the um, short stories that we had read and I actually like I don't know I enjoyed the class anyway um, I came back to the room for like I don't know, 20 minutes and then mainly to get the battery but now I'm, I'm about to leave for a lecture 
um, by Carl Sprague. I may be mispronouncing his last name, um, but he was the art director on a bunch of films, um, and he's going to be talking about the Royal Ten of Bombs today. He's worked with like Scorsese, Wes Anderson, David Fincher, like a lot of cool people, and he also did some of the um, like conceptual art or there's a specific term for it that I'm not remembering, but art design maybe for La La Land, which is my favorite movie of all time. So I'm really excited to see what he has to say. Carl's lecture was really cool. He was super nice and really laid back. So it didn't feel like a lecture. He just talked about his work on a bunch of different movies. He's done a ton. He's been a concept artist and been an art director for a million different things. And it was really cool to hear his opinions on the industry and the people in it. He basically spent half the lecture talking about how particular Wes Anderson is. Anyway, Carl Sprague and Free Hot Chocolate. Carl Sprague was such a guy. He's a sweet little man. He's a chap. He's a chap. He was very nonchalant about He was very nonchalant. He was working like, yeah, on every uh, movie ever. Yeah, like la la la. You know, social network. Yeah. And that was pretty much it for the rest of the day. I don't think I did that much, honestly. I don't really remember. I think I just kind of took the night to myself, did a few small assignments, and then just basically laid in bed until the end of the day. Fridays are my earliest days of the week. I have my calm discussion at 9.05. So I go to that first, and then I go to get breakfast, typically in Marciano. And then I go back to calm for my writing class. And then I have about two and a half hours to fill. So today I walked over to West Campus to get my flu shot. BU set up a clinic. And on my way back, it was actually so beautiful out, I decided to go for a walk through Brookline since I had so much time to kill and no work to do. And genuinely, this is the nicest day since I've been here. It was so beautiful, it was like the perfect autumn day. So I just ended up sitting in Amory Park for about two hours. And then I went to my global cinema class, which was a lecture. We're on the set of Funny and Nice. I just got out of Global Cinema. Um, we're recording episode three, Mickey's on the floor. Can I add something? Set is um, crazy. In Mexico, it's a place I probably sounded crazy. Hey guys, this is Eli. This is pretty Eli being pretty. <gasps> Jack, ya no está. Eli, shut up. No, my, me my actual message for the world is we should stop using the term bi-weekly. My social security number is putting that in. You can't put that in. That's my actual social security <laughs> number. We wrapped filming right before seven. And then after that, I went to get dinner. And then I went for a walk down the Esplanade. I was out from 8 p.m. until midnight. I went for about five miles. Most of my friends were out, but I'm not super involved in like the party scene. I kind of prefer just to like chill out and have some time on my own. My friend really just texted me asking if I wanted to go um, to a play with her at North Eastern. So I'm running over to her room. I want to go see a play. I have no idea what play. I don't know. I'm not a big play person, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be cool. And then um, my friend George from home is coming in and we're gonna go to dinner with Mickey and Eli. So that's kind of all that's on the docket for today. And he'll, he'll, he might gotta do. He bought bottles and he got the right kind of throw. He cold, he dope, he might sell coke. He always in the air, but he never fly coach. He a motherfucking trip trip, sell it on the ship ship. Money make him trip trip, kiss him on the lip. <laughs> We took the tea and then walked over to Northeastern and saw the play. It was an adaptation of Shakespeare's Twelfth Night, but it's set in the 80s. I didn't really understand it, to be honest. And then George picked us up at Northeastern and drove us back to BU. People I was with left to go to the hockey game, and then George, Eli, Mickey, and I took the tea over to Copley and then went to Legal Seafoods for dinner. 
and Mickey tried scallops for the first time. What are you smelling it for? Because I want to, I want to get, I want to, okay, when I have a camera on me, there's two sets of eyes on me. Okay, the longer you wait, the more I hate you. It's good, it's fine. It's just good. Are you serious? No, it was fine, it was fine. I can't tell, was that you actually <laughs> Okay. <laughs> like it's finally something that'll fit me. Something that'll fit around me. Keep me warm. I think it'll be just a little tight. A little tight. A little tight. A little, a little, a little, a little bit. After dinner, we walked around and checked out some stores in the mall and on Newberry Street. George left, which was heartbreaking, and then Mickey and I went to Lily and Anna's room for the rest of the night. It's really hard for us to separate ourselves from each other because we're so used to this hour of the night having sex. It's true. Let's go. Okay, bye. 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 Jack's camera. I really like the Emoji Movie, and I feel like people don't talk about it. I haven't seen it. I'm really, I'm gonna pass on the Emoji Movie for right now. I love it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna pass on love. <gasps> Guys, I'm excited for Hunger Games film. Me too. <laughs> I heard it was, I heard it was, I heard it was okay. I'm nervous because every shot in the show. Sunday, I had nothing to do, so I woke up late, and then Izzy and I just took the day and explored Boston. I filmed this video on the Sunday before Thanksgiving break, so everything was kind of dressed up for Christmas, even though it wasn't Christmas yet. We went and got lunch at one of my favorite restaurants in the North End, walked around there for a bit, and then got some dessert and ate it in the park. We got back at around 4, and then I did nothing for 6 hours, and then I went over to calm. I went over to do After Dark, which is my radio show. Over the summer, I saw the drums, which, do you, you know the drums? Yeah, oh my okay. god, I love the drums. I love the drums. Best concert I've ever been to. Awesome. Um, it was great. No one went. It was at the Sinclair in Cambridge, tiny venue. Oh, that sounds so good. Um, and my friend Anna and I, we got there like 45 minutes early and we got front row, mm -hmm. which was sick. I love my radio show. I do it with five of the girls. I didn't know any of them beforehand. I just got randomly placed here, but they're all super nice. And on After Dark, we talk about true crime and horror stories and stuff like that. So it's right in my wheelhouse. Today, we talked about toxic fan bases. After Dark is 10 p.m. to midnight every Sunday, which honestly isn't bad because my writing class is so late on Monday. Sorry if the video's a bit shoddy. Um still kind of adjusting and learning how to video myself in public and have the confidence to do that and also like remembering everything. But I didn't miss anything about it full, so yeah, and I'll voice over and whatever. But um, thanks for watching and as always, let me know what else you want to see or if you have any questions, ask. But yeah, that's it for me with this week. I'll see you soon, hopefully.